It's really important to consider misconceptions in planning because it allows you to identify the potential pitfalls that your students might um, come up against. It also allows you to really kind of think carefully about drawing those out so that they're not kind of hanging their knowledge or hooking their new knowledge onto knowledge that is already flawed, which can just kind of exacerbate the problem. Um, for instance, just last week, um, one of my year 13s really struggled to comprehend the fact that plants also produced proteins. So it was really important that we went right back to actually what a protein was so that they could break that misconception that proteins build muscles. Well, actually, proteins do far more than just build mu muscles. And we, we had to really zoom into a protein as a biological molecule to really think about that. Um, I think also that by by thinking about what the potential misconceptions are in your planning, you can actively plan really short little tasks that, that build those out, those identify those. Um, I really love using diagnostic questions, and in particular, I've been really trialing concept cartoons more recently. Um, and it's surprising how much you get out of a discussion surrounding a concept cartoon. And I think that's really powerful in the classroom.